I'm Izzard Tastic, and today we're going to draw a flaming bowling pin and bowling ball. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. We're going to begin our flaming bowling pin and bowling ball by drawing the bowling pin here the bowling ball on this side, and then we'll draw the flames around them. First, we're going to draw a curved line up, curve it in, out, and up for the top of the bowling ball, and then bring it back down. Next, we're gonna continue that line down, around, and tuck in. At the top, we're going to do two stripes. So we're gonna draw two parallel curving lines to make stripes on your bowling pin. We're going to add two glaring shiny spots because it's a glossy surface. So we're gonna add two curving triangles and they're curving because this is a curved shape. So one at the top and one on the side where the light would catch. Next, on either side of your bowling pin, we're going to draw a circle. In that circle, we're going to draw one big circle and one smaller circle. We're going to want draw the mouth with one diagonal line, connect it with a curving line, draw a curved line in the mouth for the tongue, and now we're going to color in the dark of the mouth and the dark of the eyes. Perfect. Around the eyes, you can add some little lines and around the mouth, you can do the same. And this is just going to add some expression to our face. Take your marker, go around the outside to tidy up the lines, smooth it all out and make it bold. And this added contrast will help bring our viewers' eyes to the artwork. Perfect. Now that we're done the bowling pin, we're going to do the bowling ball. So we're going to add one circle on the other side. That circle is going to have three oval shapes at the top. And on each of those shapes along the top of them, we're going to add a parallel curving line. And this will add the illusion that it's 3D, that it has depth going down. We're going to color in this dark area below that curving line and that's gonna help create the illusion that it's a hole that you can stick your fingers in to make it easy to grip the ball when you go to throw it down the bowling aisle. All right, so that's all colored in. Next, we're going to add the face. And this guy's not so happy about being tossed down the bowling alley. So we're gonna draw a curving line. So one long line curving down, a shorter line curving out. 
one longer line curving down, shorter line curving out. And then I'm gonna go over that again to thicken them up. That way it'll stand out on the paper. Next, we're going to add the mouth. But again, he's unhappy, so we're gonna do a nice curving line up on an angle, one longer side, the top is shorter. Connect the two together. Draw the tongue on the inside. And this guy will add some cheeks he's kind of flushed. So unhappy. All right, color in the dark of the mouth. Next, we're going to add those expression lines with some thin lines around both the eyes and the mouth, just wherever you feel like you need a little bit more expression. Then you're going to take your marker, go around the outside. Make it bold, make it beautiful, tidy up and straighten your lines. Perfect. Next, we gotta make these guys flaming. I'm gonna start on the bowling pin first. We'll draw a U shape along the bottom. And then we're gonna add some curving lines here and there. Just like that. Along the inside, you're going to draw a smaller version. for the lighter part or the hotter part of the flame. And now we'll do the same around the bowling ball, bowling ball but it's going to be slightly overlapped. Okay, flame around it. Now we're ready to color. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and we're going to color. I want to start off with the flames first. I'm going to do yellow on the inner flame, orange around it. Next, I'm going to color the bowling pin and the bowling ball. You can color the bowling ball any color you want. So you can grab your favorite mark making colors and color in your bowling ball. And then we'll do the bowling pin, which will be a lot easier as most of it is white.
Okay, so once you have that colored, then you can grab a red. We're going to color in the bands on the bowling pin, red. And we're also going to use that same red to color in the tongue on both the bowling ball and the bowling pin. And of course, you can grab a pink. We'll use that pink to color in the little cheeks on your bowling ball. Give it some cute little cheeks. Perfect. Next, we're going to grab a gray and you can of course use a gray felt marker, a gray wax crayon, gray pencil crayon, whatever you want. And you can use that to shade. So we're gonna go around the eye first on the bowling ball, around the mouth, and around the bottom. Just shade it in. Next, we'll use that same gray. We're gonna shade along the side of your bowling pin. I'm going to shade around the eyes. And shade around the mouth. And once you're done shading in your flaming bowling pin and bowling ball, your lovely artwork is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.